Welcome back. It is the worst news any parent could hear, being told your child has cancer. And shockingly, the majority of families who receive that devastating diagnosis don't receive the support they need. Yeah, a new report by Red Kite Australia has highlighted the urgent need for better support to be given to those facing childhood cancer. To tell us more, Tim Rogers from Red Kite and mum of two, Tash Jo, joins us now with Roman there too. Morning. Good morning to all three of you. Tim, the report has launched today. What are some of the key findings? Well, hi guys. Yeah, look, the major findings about this from this report are that there are really major gaps and unmet needs for families who have a child with cancer, particularly in the area of their emotional and mental health and well-being. And it's across the whole cancer experience and for the whole family, uh, especially when they're transitioning home away from hospitals. So, yeah, it's found that there are major gaps and we just really need to do something about that. Oh, there's so much to digest for a family, isn't there? Uh, Tash, Roman was two years old when he was diagnosed. Would you mind taking us back to that time and how you handled that diagnosis? Yeah, it was um, very unexpected and such a a shock to us all and like he was so sick and it was hard because we were at hey, hospital hey, and he couldn't Batman. Batman. He, Batman. <laughs> he couldn't voice how he was feeling so like i had a kid who's feeling sick he's on steroids and hungry um we were at hospital more than we were at home so it was really hard <laughs> Well, he looks really good and, and I'm glad that he's reacting really well to these photos because he's very special. So how did Red Kite help with your family, Tash? Red Kite was great. Um, they did lots of things. When we when he was initially diagnosed, we got kind of like a welcome pack, not that you really want to call it a welcome pack. Um, <laughs> it had a diary where we could keep a record. It had blankets, which they use now. They also had um, a bead. Um, <gasps> oh, bravery is that what bead. that is? These are, these are all his beads. <laughs> Oh, no, um, these are all his beads um, that Ooh, they're almost four meters long um, and each bead represents, represents something of one part of his treatment wow. so for me that makes me really proud of what he's been through but it also shows how much children go through with yeah. childhood kids yeah. uh, and red kite also gave us financial support, they paid bills and they um, yeah, gave us fuel vouchers and things like that as well. So they did, they did a lot for us. Uh, Tim, just explain for us, if you can, how crucial this support is for families going through this. Oh, guys, the, we find that the families we work with are absolutely amazing. But as you can tell, if, it, if, a, if a little guy like Ryman can have four metres worth of beads, mm for every little step that he's been through, you can imagine the impact on the whole family. And I think that's the important thing about this report. It talks about the impact on the whole family. So, you know, cancer treatment is intense and goes on for a long time, but that causes all kinds of disruption for families. There's financial impacts, there's huge impacts on relationships and family wellbeing. Uh, the support that Red Kite provides is is all targeted on those sort of essential needs. So support for people's emotional and mental health, support for family relationships, support for um, the financial impact of cancer. It's all critical stuff because, yeah, it's something that goes on and on and it really, uh, families shouldn't have to face that alone. You know, it's something that can really apply pressure because it isn't just a short thing. And of course, on top of that, people are fearful for the well-being of their child. Yeah, it, look, it's a huge amount of stress in all parts of, of life. So um, families should get the support that they need through that. And unfortunately, we clearly have major gaps. Families are telling us that, that they just don't feel well enough supported throughout all of that. Mm. Well, Tash, Roman is now... Uh, Roman, how old are you now? Five. Big boys. Five, Whoa, thank you. Five years boy. old and cancer-free. That is amazing. So what are you looking forward to once things open back up again? Going to the beach. Um, <laughs> and just leave, leaving out LGA and the kids want to have a holiday in the city um, and eventually we'd like to go back and visit my husband's family in Indonesia as oh, well. Oh, yeah, that'd be nice. Too. Roman, how do you feel today? Good. Good? Do you feel brave? Yeah. yeah. You, you're very brave and you look very strong too and you have a gorgeous head of hair to boot. So, no. <laughs> guys, thank you so much for joining us. Um, such a terrific organisation, Red Kite. We really appreciate you coming on and talking about it this morning.
Thank you very much. And to Thank find you. out more about the report and the services Red Kite provide, you can head to redkite.org.au. What a gorgeous boy, huh? He's so sweet. So 